Good morning, everybody. I'm up, and it's really early. Actually, it's only it's 9 o'clock, which to me is early, because I haven't been getting up before 9.30 or 10, and I've been up since 8. And the reason why is I am riding today with Sarah to work. She's going to work, and then I'm taking her car away from her and fixing it. And I really should have turned on that music in the other room. But I told you guys yesterday that uh, I'm looking for a job now. So if any of you have a position, I'm a good hard worker. Hey, come here. Want some water? Come on. Ignore the dirty dishes. This is Josh Ryan's life. I have dirty dishes. I admit it. Sage, where are you at? Where are you at? People on the internet like seeing you. You're responsible for getting me views. Come back here. You have a responsibility. All right, get me views, dog. Where are you going to? Come here. Come back here. All right, sit. Oh, such a good girl. Read your Bible. Well, I'm outside waiting for Sarah. She said that she had to leave for work at 9.25, and it's right now, um, 9.40. I think she's gonna be late for work. Sarah just texted me. She's at the gas station, like, a block up from my house. So, I'm gonna walk up there. Else she's gonna be late. Hey, there. I'm getting gas. You know what you're doing? We made it to work safe. Whew. Riding with girls is scary. Sarah got to work safe and sound. And I'm about to steal her car now. But I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to give you guys a little funny thing that I've noticed or say words that come when I talk with my face. But look at this. This is a girl's keychain. It's got one key. No, I take that back. It's got three like house keys and a car key and then everything else is just stuff look it fills my whole hand up and look at my keys you could kill somebody with this thing Oops. don't need no mace or pepper spray i decided i'm gonna go watch a movie by myself today but the movie doesn't start for almost an hour so i am going to the art museum for an hour because it's only like a mile up the road. I like art. I know that's weird. You wouldn't expect that of somebody that breaks crap and has a mohawk and stuff like that, but I really do like art. I like like a lot of classical Renaissance period art. So that's what I'm doing right now. And there's the cops. And over there's another cop. And there's another cop up there. And there's another cop. Hey, I think I know him. I think he pulled me over before. Oh, there's another one right up there. This is a bad day to do something wrong. Art museum, art museum, art museum, yeah, art museum, art museum, art museum. And if you look to our right, this is our new modern collection. The buildings actually reflect the mart, the mart, the art in which they contain. And this car is getting on my nerves. Shut up, car. I gotta get this thing home and fix it. Check this out, guys. Art that involves video. I found a dead guy at the museum. That one escaped. This art museum's really cool. It's got like a lot of outdoor stuff like this. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. You know, I was just in there and uh, was walking around in the Egyptian exhibit. I was just thinking about that kind of stuff, you know, like the mummies and all. And this is just me talking with what, what was coming out of my brain. And you know, it's kind of sad. I was thinking about how in today's culture, everybody's so analytical and everyone is so science and, and all that stuff, which I'm not saying that that stuff's bad. But it seems like sometimes people think way too much about stuff. And like, like the Egyptians, I'm not saying I agree with them, but they had so much hope that you know there was an afterlife, which personally I believe there, there is. 
um, not the same way that the Egyptians do. But it's kind of sad that, you know, it, it seems like sometimes people thinking too much and getting all scientific, it takes away from some of the beauty of the world, if that makes sense. You know, like the Egyptians believed in all these gods that were going to carry them to the afterlife and all this kind of stuff. And today, nobody believes that way anymore, which is kind of sad, so, I don't know. It's funny. As we get more civilized as human beings, by our definition, we uh, stop believing in things. Seems like a pity to me. But maybe I'm crazy. But I'm not. Most of the time. After getting myself a little bit of culture, I am now going to balance that out by taking myself back down to a dumb state of mind by going and watching an action film. Film. Man, I just sounded like a, a yuppie. I'm gonna watch a movie. Well, I just left the movie theater. And you guys know that have been watching me for a while that I love explosions and all that kind of jazz, but this movie, in my opinion, this is my own personal opinion, just kind of was too much. Like, almost to the point that the action was cheesy. There was way too much action. It had, like, a lot of, like, big actors in it, but I don't know. I was kind of like, eh, eh. Like, people were getting shot with shotguns, and it was, like, blowing them completely in half. using the e-brake to stop. Worst driver of all time. Worst driver. The gear itself. Sweet Mary, dude. This car is retarded. It doesn't know what it's doing. Put your seatbelt on. Oh my god. <laughs> Sarah, I swear. Oh my freaking <laughs> Jordan's angry. Oh, he's so bad. Every time oh. you're angry. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to drive! Stop tickling people! <laughs> I will send you to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> a pinky in your nose. Can you do your pinky in basket? No. It has to be purple. <laughs> Did you just ask if you could go to hell in a pink basket? I'm eating it for dinner! Stop. I'm eating it for dinner! Stop! 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 That's a cop behind us! This is what I have to Sit put back. up with every day.